Alrighty, everybody. It's been a while since I've done one of these, but as a seed haul, I gotta tell you, I could probably do about 12 seed hauls. I've gone a little bit uh, crazier than I have in the past, but I wanted to do this particular one from this company. I posted a video a little while back about a Facebook group that I have absolutely been loving, and it's called Tomato Obsession. So go on Facebook if you love tomatoes and find that Facebook group and answer the questions, become a part of it because it's awesome. But there's a, um, a guy that's on it and he has his own seed company and it's called Forgotten Heirlooms. And I've traded with him. I think I did a trade and then I've, I've actually ordered two different times from his, his uh, website. So it's Forgotten Heirlooms, really fast shipping. I really like the packaging. Um, let's start with the first order that I got from him. I like the packaging because he actually has on the envelope a picture of what the tomato or... He doesn't just do tomatoes. He does other things too. He does a lot of hot peppers. He does sweet peppers. And it's lots of things that are rare or you haven't heard of. Really cool stuff. And I... I like to get on his website and just peruse things. And he's always adding new things. But one of the things that he, in my opinion, specializes in, I would say, because I've never seen this many micro or dwarf tomatoes, which I've never seen any other website have this many types of micro dwarf tomatoes on it. And he has, he, I mean, I was messaging him back and forth the other day when we were doing our trade or he gifted. Yeah, we were doing a trade and uh, he was telling me he grows over 60 different varieties in his greenhouse um, of micro dwarf tomatoes. So that's a lot. I don't, I, didn't, I don't have that many, but I'm definitely, that's the project, which is why I wanted to do this, which is why I wanted to get this seed haul done because that's a project I want to get started is I'm going to start all the different varieties of micro dwarfs that I have. And I'm going to try to grow them over the winter. So I can have some tomatoes over winter. So we'll see how that goes. This first time I've ever, I think I've grown maybe two different kinds of micro dwarfs. Orange hat, I believe, and tiny Tim. I think those are the only two that I've ever had. But I've got plenty more. Of course, I got mostly tomatoes. <laughs> I think I also got some peppers. I can't remember which one is my second order. Is this the second order? Let's just get right to it. I'll just go through these because there's quite a lot. The first tomato variety I got, and it, it comes with 12 seeds. Most of them come with 12 seeds. Yeah, looks like there's all got about 12 seeds. And I think they're only a couple dollars, two, three dollars. And this one is Rose Beauty. The next one I got is Fuzzy Blue Balls. Greasy Creek. I said that wrong. Greasy Creek. Oh, and he also gives, um, sends along with your packet a sticker. So with this one, I got this sticker. And I think with the other order, I got a different sticker. I love stickers, so. This one's really cool looking. Butterscotch beef steak. And I got this one because of the name. West Virginia straw. This one is pigeon roost. Another thing that I like is like, it comes in these little envelopes, right? And on the envelopes, it has a nice picture, like I said, but it also has like a little blurb about what you're growing. It says this one's Wildling Pan Panamoris. Wildling Panamoris from Joseph Lofthouse. It's a cross between the domesticated tomato and two wild tomato species. But when you open the packet, inside that packet is a little Ziploc baggie. It has the seeds in it. 
Uh, and I think I accidentally got some duplicates, but that's okay. I can share the seeds with other people. I'm hoping to grow all of these next year and have and be able to save some seeds and trade seeds at these because these are pretty interesting varieties. This one's Aunt Eula's Rock House Yellow. This is the only cherry I got, which was a gift. So he does do gifts. And this is Jackie Cherry. And then I also got, this is the one micro dwarf that I got in this order. And it's Chocolos Micro Dwarf. So that's that one. And then with this order, I also got some rhubarb. I wanted to grow rhubarb. Growing up, my mom had a plant of rhubarb. And this is actually not going to be red rhubarb. This rhubarb actually stays green. It says the stems stay green and do not turn red like other varieties. Okay, so the second order, this is the one, well actually between the second order and the first order is when I traded seeds with him. And I'll show you what those seeds are. And he actually gifted me a couple of other varieties that I didn't trade for, which I thought was super cool. So that was really nice. So we traded, I traded, I traded for Joe's Pink Heart. Hatfield Big Red Cutting. Yeah, Hatfield Big Red Cutting. Mm, Mario Livingston's Marvelous. And again, this is a duplicate. Aunt Eula's Rock House Yellow. Axel Lake Swamp Miracle. And I think I accidentally ordered this in my second order, but that's okay. Extra seeds, I'm not gonna complain about that. Big Springs Cherokee Yellow and Bear Wallow Canary. Oh, that one looks so delicious. It looks like just pure meat. Okay, so then the second order, is, I got Hazel May. I'm pretty much trying to collect all of the tomato seeds that he has in his shop. Kentucky Cabin. And he always gets me because in my Facebook feed it'll pop up new to the shop. And then it'll have a new tomato variety. And I'm like, oh, well, I have to have that one. And while I'm at it, let me just, <laughs> you know how it goes. Pee Wee Valley Floyd's, Floyd's Sunshine. Pee Wee Valley Floyd's. Floyd's Sunshine. Boy, I can't even say that. Pee Wee Valley. Floyd's Sunshine. Got it. And this is Grant County Pink. That one looks beautiful. Very yummy. I'm not going to attempt to say this one. But this looks like an ox heart. Yeah, beautiful orange ox heart. Nizami. This one says it makes a great sauce. This is the Axel Lake Swamp Miracle. That was the duplicate. And this one I'm excited about because it's a darker one. Gun Metal Gray. Look at that. This one, I wanted to branch out and do more green tomatoes. This one's Ohio River Huge Green. All right. And another duplicate. This is a gift again. So I got two of these gifts, so I'll be able to trade some of these seeds. Jackie Cherry again. And, okay, so I think I've gotten to the micro dwarfs. I did get, yeah. So before I do those, I'll do the two uh, peppers I got. I got Orange Lesia. And he does have a lot of really cool hot peppers. Really beautiful, interesting hot peppers. And again, if you're interested in hot peppers, check out Pepper Obsession on Facebook. This one is Bridge to Paris Sweet Pepper. Now, as far as the micro dwarfs, I got this Palms Gel Top Fumet. I don't know how to pronounce that, sorry. And then Pinocchio Orange Micro Dwarf. I posted a question on Tomato Obsession the other day and I've seen a couple of times where this is people's favorite so I'm excited to grow that one. Aztec Micro Dwarf Tomato is another one and 
then again another one that I've heard is really good is the micro dwarf fat frog and this one I like the name of this micro dwarf orange dream so those are all the seeds that I got from so I need to separate out the micro dwarfs because I'm gonna get started with that soon and I'm hoping to document this journey starting micro dwarfs in the house and keeping them through the winter be nice to have some cherry tomatoes and just I just like green green in my house through winter because there's so much outside that's not green these are not all of the micro dwarfs that I have I've traded for I don't know six between six and ten other different micro dwarfs so I'm gonna be starting quite a lot of micro dwarfs I really do like how he's packaged stuff. So I do I do intend on doing a seed haul pretty soon of like traded seeds. And then I also placed an order with Renaissance Farms and I'm hoping to get that order sometime soon. But I haven't gotten it yet, so just waiting on that. But if you like seed hauls, please please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Until then, enjoy your day. Bye, guys.